So. Ja. Ist das nicht sogar schon im Bingo drin? Mit Product Placement. Sehr perfekt. Kann man gleich doppelt, doppelt, äh, abhaken hier. Hm. Nom nom. Ja. Heiß und schwül. Was ist es hier auch, ja. So, ähm. So, wir machen mit Labris ihre Story weiter. Die ist ja letztes Mal dann aus diesem komischen Zeug abgehauen, glaube ich. Ja, genau. Abgehauen ist die. Weil sie gegen, einerseits gegen ihre Freundin, die Zero Two Four kämpfen musste dann. Und dann anderes Zeug noch. <lacht> Und ja, bisher in der kompletten Labris Storyline bisher nur Story, kein Gameplay. Mal schauen, ob sich das heute ändert. Bin sehr gespannt. Ah ja, stimmt, so Moment. Gibt ja noch äh, Umfrage und so weiter. So, Umfrage. <lacht> okay, so. Just then, five meters ahead, something white and fluffy crosses my path. It is snowy. It notices me and approaches. I am worried about my pursuers, but I cannot dismiss Zero to Force, beloved Snowy. I lower my speed and run with him. I then notice that the scenery we are passing has calmed. My surroundings are very different now. The blue sky that was previously obstructed by the trees is now clearly visible. The green grass is shining vibrantly in the light of the sun. And there is a deeper blue than the sky ahead. Many lines of white run across it. Is that the ocean? <gasps> Snowy barks as if an answer. I feel like it is saying, that's right. I could not previously comprehend Snowy. I did not have an interest in trying. But now I can grasp what Snowy is saying as if I could speak its own language. I know that it feels happy to be able to run with me. Antwort Kapitel. Im Grunde ja, aber... Ich weiß, die hätten ja wenigstens diese komischen Testkämpfe und so weiter. Da hätte ich ja irgendwie spielen können oder so. Damit halt wenigstens irgendwie Gameplay drin ist. <lacht> I feel as if Zero to Four is inside me. Though we were forced to part, she certainly left me many things. Not only her wish, but other things as well. Ah ja, wir haben ja letztes Mal rausgefunden dass die äh, Roboter, Maschinen, Waffen, Dinger, Leute da, äh, ja, aus dem Gedächtnis oder aus dem Geist oder irgendwie sowas von so einem Mädchen äh, hergestellt wurden, sozusagen. Stimmt. Well, I'll find her come hella high water. Are you with me, Snowy? Snowy barks energetically. I respond with sa with thanks and a smile. Zero to four and Snowy are encouraging me. Though I do not have any clues, I will find her, no matter what happens or how long it takes. I search my current location once more. Now that I am further from the research facility, I can use my GPS to triangulate my position. But on seeing the results, I can't help but stop running. Snowy stops a little further ahead and then returns to me. My current location is Yakushima, within the Tagushima, uh, Kagoshima prefecture. It is a remote island far from shore. No. The island's per... Uh, per Perimeter, perimeter 
perimeter is only 132 kilo kilometers kilometers in such an uh, in such a limited area it will be a matter of time before a full-scale manhunt apprehends him the research facility must have been built on an island in anticipation of such such situations even if someone were to escape the facility, the island's geography would contain them. It is essentially a natural prison. I do not want to believe it, but my hope was meticulously strangled before it was born. However, I cannot wait here to be captured. <clears throat> I begin running again. Though, as expected from my position data and map, I, imme I immediately reach the re the ocean. Can heute nicht lesen. So this is the ocean. <laughs> it's so huge. I can't see anything out there at all. <clears> hmm. <throat> I look at the glistening surface of the ocean, reflect the sun's the sun's light, and ponder its beauty. I am at a loss. Though I knew it would come to this, I could not stand idle. Despite this, my feelings sink. Snowy looks up at me from t from time to time as I stop running and begin walking. His gesture of concern forces me to smile and tell him that I am alright. <clears throat> the forest becomes a grove, the trees grow sparser. A blue ocean and this, the sandy soil leading up to it spread before my eyes. I check my map again. This is not an uninhabited island. There's a there's a means for people to come and go, but I doubt that I will be able to use those methods freely without arousing any suspicion. I gaze down at my own hand. It is completely unlike a human hand. It is an object sculpted from metal. <laughs> Well, that's a problem. What should I do? My question seems to sti stymie? Stimmy? Neues Wort, das ich nicht kenne. Hindern. Too stymie. Stymie. <clears throat> My question seems to stymie Snowy. Come on, don't give me that look. Ah well. Maybe it's my fault for getting so frustrated. Sorry, Pooch. Just as I'm about to crouch and pet Snowy's head, Snowy moves as if avoiding me. Snowy? Snowy circles around behind me and growls towards the way we just came. I train my senses in that direction and sense presences in the distance. They may be keeping their distance on purpose. Since I have no firearms, they must understand that their effective range exceeds mine. Looks like they're coming. <clears throat> Amongst the human soldiers are a number of my sister units. Is it possible that I can convince them not to fight me? I dismiss the idea as hopeless. Though they may have awakened to their ego, after my escape, they will be under their commander's control. Was los? Die creepy pasta. Hallo Arifa. Was ist das? Ist das nicht die Creepypasta über mich? Gibt es da nicht zwei Teile von? Oder ist das was? Wieder was ganz anderes. Even if that is not the case, they may think that their orders are absolute, just as I once did. Knowing why they're here doesn't make it any easier to deal with them. 
It does not seem as if they will all attack at once. They must understand that I am already at the ocean and I have nowhere to escape. I do not want to surrender, but I am frustrated by my powerlessness to be caught like this. I, I have my own mission to accomplish. The ocean sparkles. The periodic sound of water I once heard from afar echoes from it. As I gaze at the clear water while it ebbs and flows, a mysterious feeling rises in me. Es gibt ein... Eine über mich. Zwei über mich. Ich glaube, es gibt zwei Teile. Aber ich verwechsel die gerade. Also mindestens eine gibt es über mich. Hat die nicht... Hat ADV die nicht geschrieben? Oder war das wieder wie anders? Ist schon lange her. Aber ja, es gibt eine über mich. As I gaze at the clear water, where it ebbs and flows. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's it. Wow. Look at that. It's beautiful. My opponents show no indication of moving. I step out onto the sand after cataloging that sensation. I approach the pier stretching to the ocean. When I step onto it, the wooden planks creak. I can hear snowy slide tread behind me as well. I stand at the end of the pier and look out to the ocean. I wonder if she's beyond this ocean that seems to stretch forever. The girl 024 wanted to meet. The girl that I wished to meet as well, the mother figure who loved us and wished for our happiness. While my thoughts turn to the girl whose face I do not know, I decide to preserve the ocean's beauty in my memory. After all, it may be the last time I will be able to see the ocean as myself. The odds are high that when I am restrained and returned to the facility, my memories will be wiped. <coughs> Hast keine über mich. Okay, dann war das, dann war das wer anders. I am scared. I am frustrated. I do not want to be erased. But I do not think all my hopes are lost yet. This may be the end of me. But just as I inherited the memories of 024 and other units, my memories will surely endure into the next generation. So I will keep these feelings along with this beautiful ocean scene deep within the origin of my heart. There it cannot be erased or tempered with. The blue sky and ocean. The shining sun and glittering water. And the gentle breeze and calm sounds of the waves. The scenery from this pier is so stunning that it is unimaginable from inside the research facility. I am glad that the last place I see is so beautiful. With the ocean before me, I speak to any future sisters that I have yet to meet. It might be called a type of prayer. To all the ones I'll never meet, but will receive my memories. My emotions race ahead of my thoughts. I cannot find the right words to say. There's so much I want to say to you that I don't know where to start. I close my eyes again and calm my heart. To my descendants, whom I will probably never meet, if you ever find someone precious to you, as I did with 024, and wish to meet them, may you meet them here. May you go beyond this pier to places I could not. I just pray from the bottom of my heart that everyone can find happiness. As long as that happens, I don't <clears throat> mind if I... Even though my wish may not come true, I'm still satisfied if I can entrust it to someone I believe in. 024 said something along those lines. Could this be it? Snow erupts against my leg. Is he warning me to be cautious of my pursuers who have arrived and are coming closer? Or does he only want me to pet him? I inspect him closely and realize that it is the latter. He must be worried. I crouch down and scratch Snowy's head. Hey Snowy, you think this is what it means to feel alive? 
Snowy looks at me while wagging its tail. I pick up Snowy and gently hug it. Snowy shows no sign of resistance and allows me to do so. My pursuers are closing in now, but I will not run anymore. It is true that I am still frustrated, by its, but it's strange. I am also satisfied. Snowy licks my cheek. Thanks. I'll be okay now. Things are about to get hairy, so you should hurry and get out of here. I let Snowy go, but it does not leave me. Ah, oh, come on. If you don't go, it'll make things hard on me. Okay? Okay. Moment. Hallo, Skyred. Ich schau mal ganz kurz, ob ich die finde. So, auf die schnell. Also als ich noch Gastvertoner hatte, hat Tintenbaron eine über mich. Das ist aber glaube ich schon der zweite Teil. Haselmeier hat die geschrieben. Zumindest den zweiten Teil. Ich weiß jetzt gar nicht mehr, ob der auch den ersten Teil geschrieben hat. Aber bei Bedarf... Hier mal der, der zweite Teil. Uh, Snowy looks at my face for a while. Eventually, it droops its head and walks off. Snowy looks back several times. Eventually, he disappears into the tall grass. My relief is cut short by five armed humans pointing their guns at me. I have no intention of resisting. I smile at them. Though it was only for a short while, I lived. I felt the happiness of passing down my wish. It was only for a short period of time, but I may have granted the wish of the girl who is our mother. I allow myself to be restrained without resistance. They take me back to the laborato laboratory. I was so absorbed in my escape attempt that I did not notice the severe damage I inflicted upon the facility. It seems that the, de that the delicate machinery used to tamper with my memories is in no condition to be used. Damn it! Look at this mess! <clears throat> Going after humans? Oh, I bet the girl they used as a template for this model was a snotty brat too! Even if we delete its memories, it'll be too dangerous to keep using this unit. Hm. There are so many things about it I want to research, though. It's not worth the risks. The fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon will be sealed indefinitely once it's fully restrained again. The voice is the last, the last thing I hear before my consciousness is cut off. Ah, okay. Und jetzt? Huh? My consciousness should have been shut down, but I have awakened. This place. It's that ocean. I'm on that pier, the blue sky and ocean, the shining sun and glittering water, and the gentle breeze and calm sounds of the waves. Even Snowy is next to me scene is identical to the one from before, though this time I sense no pursuers. I was captured. I remembered that clearly. This is obviously an abnormal situation, at odds with my memories. But the clear blue sky and ocean are still so beautiful that I cannot help but gaze at them. 
If only I could go beyond it, just as the thought crosses my mind, my viewpoint ascends. Soon afterwards, I realize that I am floating as if my body is weightless. I am astonished at myself to be thinking such, such strange things. But then my field of vision drifts and I turn my attention to that. The scenery I knew already begins to mix with other environments I do not, un I do not know. They become a connected, continuous image and pass like a slideshow. From time to time I pass through the drifting images. But I cannot, cannot grasp anything within those spaces. Even when they are about to collide with me, they pass right through me. Could this be dreaming? I remember something I once heard from a researcher at the facility. They said that it is possible for us to dream, since we have a mind and may develop an ego. Though it would technically be identical to a human's dream, the phenomenon would be very similar. I feel that the example the researcher gave of what a dream is like matches my current experience. <clears throat> if I am having a dream, then things that are not possible in reality may be possible here. For example, if I can leave this island, if I can go beyond the ocean. The girl that Zero Two Four and I wanted to meet said that even though she knows that the world is big, she would not be she would not be able to see it for herself. What could that have meant? Was she in a place that limited her world, as I was unable to leave the island? Gesicht im Baum. Da habe ich leider nicht drauf geachtet. Wenn er nochmal kommt, gucke ich mal. Just when it seems that the images flowing around me have stopped, I find myself in an unknown room. There's a bed here. Next to it is a flat screen monitor. There are also white shelves surrounding the bed. To one side is a stand for an intrave intravenous intravenous. Wie spricht man denn das englische intravenös aus? Int intravenous. 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 Okay. To one side is a stand for an intravenous drip. There is a machine connected to it but uh, by cords. Though it is small, it appears to function as a life science monitor. This is similar to the research facility. Could it be a hospital? The voices that sound from somewhere belong to a man and a woman. I have not heard those voices before. She said during this morning's checkup that she wanted to go to school. She asked how much better she needs to get to be able to go. Understandable. This ward is right near the road most of the students take. She must have been lonely too, not having seen her parents lately. How much better she needs to get. She still doesn't know that her condition is incurable. Why don't you be honest with her and tell her she won't ever be able to go? It's cruel to string her along like this. Shh, keep your voice down. The room's next door. <clears throat> I understand at once that these people are speaking of the girl I wish to meet. Schreib Stil. Ist nicht der Beste. Das stimmt schon. The scene feels as if it comes from my own memory. I do not doubt it at all. Aber ich nehme an, es ist halt ein bisschen meh aus dem Japanischen übersetzt. Vielleicht wenn man das Original Japanische lesen würde, vielleicht würde es dann ein bisschen besser klingen. Komisch, leicht, nicht super gut übersetzt, aber man versteht zumindest, was gemeint ist und so weiter. The girl is suffering from some kind of illness. She may not be able to go outside. Also, von der Creepypasta. Das kann sein, das weiß ich nicht. Habe ich in... Letzter Zeit nicht 
nicht gelesen. Her condition prevents her from leaving her small world. Her life is like ours. Could the girl have heard this conversation? How did it make her feel to hear it? I want to spend more time in the outside world. I want to live a normal life. The, the thoughts that come to my mind are not mine. I wonder if the nurses thought things like the student council were too much trouble to bother with when they were in school. I don't know. It sounds fun to me. Okay, jetzt müssen wir wenigstens, warum die denkt, sie wäre Schülersprecherin. Weil Kind sich das gewünscht hat. Just as, the, as I thought, it is the girl's voice. When I listen to her, I can sense her strong yearning and admiration. You gotta admire the student council president. I mean, they're the ones that get things done for everyone. But I guess it's because they're like that in the first place that they get to be president, huh? Hmm. The girl had a strong desire to attend school and live a normal school life with friends. As I review these voices and feelings and interested uh, in, an interest in the school she longs for grows within me. High school. I wonder what that's like. Hmm. Would it be fun? I wish to see for myself what she desires. Is there a specific image of, for, uh, of it? What kind of place is it? What activities do its attendants perform while there? But there are no memories in regards to schools. This must mean that the girl has no such memories. Figures? I don't know anything about schools or whatever else student life is like. Sie waren zwischen 12 und 23 Jahre alt und während der Zeit, wo sie die Videos guckten, in einer Art Trance und hatten unbeschreibliche Qualen. Ja, ist ein bisschen komisch geschrieben. Hm. Ja. Uh, I want to see them. I can show you. If you so desire. Igor? Persona 5 Igor. Mit einer etwas klareren Stimme. The voice of answers my unspoken thought. Ah ne, das ist vielleicht ihr Schatten. Keine Ahnung. Finden wir gleich raus. Bestimmt. Oder irgendwann. Who could it be? I do not think I know this voice. For some reason my mind becomes hazy. I cannot access my memories easily. Huh? Who's there? There's no need to be alarmed. I only want to give you a glimpse of the world you long to know. I was under the impression that this was a dream. Dreams are supposedly a release valve from memories. Yet this voice does not feel like a part of me. Could that be possible? As I ponder these things, the scenery around me changes completely. A first the a three story concrete building. What? I do not know this building. As I examine it, my surroundings change again. The same desks and chairs are lined up. In front of me is a dark green rectangular board on the wall. Is this a school? <clears throat> a real classroom? This is the place the girl loved. It is here that I have gained an interest in. I find myself forgetting that this is a dream and focus my senses to the desks and chairs. I then realize that I can move around at will, just as when I felt my body rise at the beach. So this is where classes happen. I feel like a sh uh, I feel a sudden excitement. But what do the students do when there aren't any classes? Do they just talk and stuff? That mysterious voice doesn't answer. Instead, I am surrounded by other sounds. Many voices are talking at once. It reminds me of the sound of waves near the ocean. But the sound is lively and enjoyable. The voices belong to boys and girls surrounding a desk. They are laughing and talking. An innocent smoothie. Uiuiui. 
They wear common clothing, though there are some differences. These may be uniforms. It is interesting to see that each person's uniform is distinct in some way. Ah! Was macht Yusuke dann? Da, bitte, hä? That one is the only one with something, th something around his neck. A girl with short hair and a green jacket raises her right hand. Next to her is a girl with long black hair wearing a red jacket. She smiles. Then there's a well-built young man with strange spiky hair. In contrast to him, I can see a small, delicate, intellectual-looking young man. Last, surrounded by them, is a young man with a calm demeanor sitting at a desk. Und mit grau-weißen Haaren. Und grau-weißen Augen. Und alles andere ist auch grau-weiß. The front of his uniform is open, his white shirt is showing. They seem to be talking about something, I cannot quite discern what it is. The scene proceeds to show various points in a normal school day. Classes, activities, clubs, student council. It looks like so much fun that I get excited. But then I remember. This is all just a dream. I am only dreaming. No matter how much I want it, there will never be a day when I can attend school for myself. All the scenes that I saw centered around the young man and his friends. I will never join their circle. I cannot go to school. I'm not even human. I consider the self-evident truth once again. Though I look human, I am a machine made by humans. It does not matter how close my heart is to that of a human, or how much ego develops, I cannot become a real human. This mechanical body can never be truly human. Just as our mother could not overcome the obstacle of her illness, no matter how she wished for it, I cannot overcome the obstacle of being a machine. It is futile for someone who cannot become human to yearn for a normal human life. There is a strange sensation somewhere in my chest that feels like pain. Still, although I'm a machine created as a weapon, that girl loved me. What if there are other people like her who could understand me? Will I then be able to find a place to belong amongst the humans? But... You'll never find a place oh. where you belong. But... Humans created you as a tool. They would never think of you as anything more. Böse Stimme. I... Everyone, to a man, lives by averting their eyes from something inside them. They all wish to live inside a never-ending dream. For who has the right to say they shouldn't? For just a moment I sense an incongruity in the kind voice. The strange pain within my body softens a little. There are even humans who do not understand others' feelings. Still others do understand, and trample upon them regardless. Compared to them, you are much more human. <clears throat> I remember the researchers. They certainly did not understand me, zero to four or my sisters. We were treated only as objects. Even after they tried to have to give us a heart. Why not then seek to be human? Hmm. Me? Be a human. The voice winds gently inside uh, winds gently inside my mind. I feel my body is growing uneasily light as if the world is spinning around me. People sort through their memories in dreams. Each night they let go of painful memories and continue their lives with the morning sun. That's all you need do. Forget anything contrary to your desires. Hmm. If... If I forget... Do not fear the act of letting go. The ones you admire wished only for you to be happy. My mind seizes upon something, that precious wish, the desire given to me to meet our mother someday and tell her thank you. I must not forget that. 
But as long as this wish is precious to me, as long as I cannot erase it from my heart, the fact that I am not human will remain. And I too. <coughs> All I wish from the depths of my heart is for you to find joy. Was this denn das für eine Stimme? Happiness. I think back. I wish from the depths of my heart for you to be happy. I remember the girl who wished for our happiness. I want to grant that wish. I want to tell her thank you, but that will be difficult for me now. In which case, should I not at least seize the opportunity and be he happy here for her sake? Forget. Das Auge. And be happy. Vielleicht. Mal schauen. My vision goes dark, the sounds I heard fade away. I feel as if I am falling. Everything is now in readiness. Hmm. Jetzt sind wir einfach im Fernsehen. Okay. Bisschen komisch. Wir mussten nicht mehr in den Fernseher reingehen und sind trotzdem in der Fernsehwelt. Hm. Naja. Hm. Miss President. Hm? When I open my eyes, I'm staring at the wood grain board. It's at the surface of a desk. I quickly raise my head. It looks like I fell asleep in class. My sleeve was pressed against my forehead while I was asleep and the texture left a mark. So, wenn sie jetzt alles vergessen hat, ne? Dann hätte ich eigentlich fast gesagt, wäre es interessanter gewesen, wer äh, wird die Labris Story jetzt erst anfangen. Heißt, wenn man Labris freigeschalten hätte, dass der ihre Story jetzt erst anfängt und der ganze Teil vorher bis zu dem Punkt würde ganz am Ende oder so oder irgendwann mittendrin bloß halt dann, dann nicht so lang oder sonst wie wäre recht interessant wäre recht interessant gewesen aber so ist so ist auch okay hm. My sleeve was pressed against my forehead while I was asleep and the texture left the mark. Oh man, I hope no one sees this. I rub my forehead a little and look around the classroom. According to the clock on the wall, it's 3.30 in the afternoon. The only thing written on the blackboard is... Uh, is this jetzt Amerikanisch or... Entweder 5.1. oder 1.5. 2012. Donnerstag. Können wir mal nachschauen. Kalender 2012. 1.5. Oder 5.1. Das wäre ein Donnerstag. 1.5. Ist ein Dienstag. Okay, also es ist der 5. Januar. Heißt amerikanische Schreibweise. Warum auch immer. Ah ne, Dienstag, Moment. Ne, nein, ist doch. Ja, das ist jetzt amerikanisch. Was habe ich gerade gesagt? Kurzes Zeitgedächtnis ist... Nicht gut. Es ist 1. Mai. Tuesday. Ja, 1. Mai ist es. Dann habe ich mich gerade vertan. Also 1. Mai ist es. Aber dann passt es mit amerikanischer Schreibweise. Zuerst Monat, dann Tag, dann... Ja. ja. Everything, everything else is erased. I stretch out my arms. I feel a little, little tired, but I gotta stay focused. Also, 
der erste Mai. Ja, genau. Uh, I stretch out my arms, I feel a little hurt, bla bla bla. Gotta stay focused. After all, I just got elected student council president in the elections a couple days ago. I have to keep in touch with what the people who voted for me want in a leader. Things with the student council will get pretty hectic after school. I should hurry to the student council room. I stand up and open the door in the back of the class. When I go the hall when I go the hallway. The field watch. When I go the hallway, there's no one around. I check inside the classrooms as I go, but I still don't see anyone. Where the heck is everyone? Hmm. It's weird. The whole school is usually rowdier than this after after classes. I should hear people talking and laughing in classrooms, and teachers yelling at them to quiet down. Where's all the bustle of the students and everyone getting ready for their after-school activities? Just when I'm wondering that, I turn around and look down the way I came. Oh, there they are. Ah, there are some students in the hallway. Some of them are chatting and others are coming out of the classrooms. A few of them run past me, carrying their bags. Yeah, this is more like it. This is how school's supposed to be. Hey! No ah, the student the student gives an apologetic smile, but he just waves to me as he zooms down the stairs. Jeez, you'll put your eye out if you don't look where you're going. Mitch. <sighs> oh well, I just gotta clamp down on him more from now on. I put my hands on my hips and sigh. Hey there, Miss President. <laughs> Are you off to the student council room? How fun! You're always so excited about that. Bye, Miss President. See you next Monday. Everyone walking down the hallway talks to me. I wave back to them. I always had a lot of friends and people who knew me, but ever since I got elected student council president, all the students seem to know who I am. The job comes with a lot of pressure, but I know I'm up to it. I'm gonna be busier than ever around school now. I did have my doubts, but in the end, I'm glad I ran for student council president. Yeah, I did the right thing. I did. I head to the student council room. Time flies by as I go over my agenda. Before I know it, there's red light pouring in from the west window. It's already sundown. Guess that's enough for today. There's no one else left in the student council room. I had the others go home before I before it got too late. But when I said that if they pushed themselves too much at the start, they'd burn out quick. They just laughed and said, the same goes for you. I leave the student council room and lock it up. As I go down the hall to return the key, I see a strange woman at the far end of the hallway. She's not wearing a school's uniform, she's got on an odd hat, some gloves and a one-piece dress. They're all the same deep blue color. Underneath one arm is an old-looking book. Margaret? Vielleicht? Huh. Aber die hat... Ah, nee, Elizabeth dann. Margaret had kein hut. I can't see her face with her back towards me, but her short, straight hair draws my attention. Okay, yeah. Good sorry. Her hair is this radiant silver, like if pearls were stretched out into strands. Who in the world is that? Hmm. Maybe it's the clothes, but she gives off this strong presence. I get a little uneasy looking at her. I'm not tiptoeing or anything. But she doesn't turn around until I'm about two meters away. When she finally does, though, I, gra I gasp a little. Her features are so perfect that she's like a sculpture. Hey, excuse me. You got some reason to be at our school? Are you sure this is how things should be? Huh? 
I don't understand what she's getting at, but for some reason the question throws me. I am a wanderer who only stopped here because I sensed great power gathering. I am in no position to give advice, but... Um... This place will soon be caught in a bit of a fracas. If you continue to avert your eyes from everything, I think it will have an impact on your life in the near future. Hmm. My, my life? What you just said sounded pretty scary. She may have some screws loose. But something is whispering to me deep in my heart, asking me, does she have a point? Aren't you looking away from something important? What you choose is up to you, but I believe there are factors preventing you from making the right choices at the moment. I couldn't bring myself to just stand by and watch as you lost your life before my eyes. That is why I was waiting here to give you one last chance. Hmm. The lady opens the thick book she's holding. I don't know how it's doing that, but light streams from the book. It gets stronger and stronger and uh, stronger and stronger until I have to shield my eyes. The blinding light finally begins to fade a little. I slowly open my eyes. The first thing I see should have been my arm, but what I see instead is an arm made of metal. Huh? What is this? Uh oh. I can't believe this awkward metal arm is mine. It's like metal plates are completely covering it. I start tucking at them to try and tear them off. It, it won't come off! What gives? It's not just my arms. My legs have changed too. Why are my arms and legs mechanical? My whole body even. I stare at my hands in confusion. They are me they pff, these are my uh, hands. All right, part of me knows that, and I shake my head. What am I thinking? There's no way these are my uh, uh, hands. It's not possible. It's not. My head hurts. What is this? I will be your opponent for a short while. Not endlich. During that time, why not think back about who you are? Uh, huh? My opponent? The lady takes a slightly defensive stance. And away we go. Kämpfen, bitte. Nach acht Szenen. Na, endlich. Na, hoffentlich kann ich's noch. Yo. Ernsthaft? Yo! Das kommt davon, wenn das Pacing so ist, dass du stundenlang Story hast und alle paar Stunden mal nur 5 Minuten Kampf, wenn überhaupt. Okay, war auch nicht gescriptet, dass ich den verlieren muss. Schade. Ah oh ja, das, das, das kommt halt, kommt halt davon, wenn man ewig lang nicht mehr gekämpft hat wegen Story und so weiter. Besonders die hat ja noch, die, die kann ja noch nicht mal eine Persona einsetzen irgendwie. Ah! 
Yo. Yo. Das war eine 41 Hit Combo halt. Ich bin paralysiert, ich kann nichts machen. Ich war paralysiert. Normaler Kampfmodus. Ich kann halt, ja. Also Übungskämpfe und so weiter kann ich schon machen, aber. Mach ich nicht. Ich will Story. In der Story sind zu wenig Kämpfe. Aber theoretisch könnte ich schon Übungskämpfe aus, äh, vom Hauptmenü aus machen. Äh, was kann denn die eigentlich alles? Jay Knuckle, ja, den habe ich schon ein paar Mal gemacht. X slash. Okay. X Ratchet. Mal gucken. Das die ist viel zu heftig mit ihrer dämlichen Combo. Was macht denn die jetzt? Nein! Was soll denn das? Also, jedes Mal diese gleiche beschissene Combo. Oh. Diese bekackte Kombo mit dem Eis und was weiß ich. Welcome to the Vel I wish you good luck. Aber, ja. Schaffen wir schon. Irgendwann. Kack ist halt, es wäre wär sehr schön, wenn ich schon mal Persona einsetzen könnte, aber ja. wenn ich trainieren. Ja. Im Endeffekt bin ich ein bisschen sehr limitiert in meinem Moveset, wenn ich keine Persona einsetze. Ich kann ja noch nicht mal, ich glaube, ich kann noch nicht mal richtig blocken oder so. Weil ich keine Person habe. Was? Warum macht das nicht? Gut. Jetzt, die, die liegt einfach nur da und... Die sind nicht mal verletzt. Bullshit. I somehow managed to beat the lady in blue who attacked me. How did I win? How did I use these metal arms and legs like it was second nature? I don't understand. The lady in blue stands before me, exactly like she was when I first saw her. She's not even breathing hard. Well done. Dankeschön. But I'm sure you realize now, you are not human. What? There must have been an important promise that could only be kept in that guise. That must have been your reason for living. 
Whether it's worth losing that or not, I ask that you give it serious thought. An important promise. My reason for living? I repeat that to myself. It seems important somehow. Now, it seems the tumult of trials is about to begin. In which case, I bid you good luck. Dankeschön. The thick book in her hand closes with a, with a loud thought. Oh. Strangely, that ordinary sound lingers in my mind. When I come back to my senses, there's no one here anymore. I take a nervous look at my arms and legs. Nothing seems different about me. There's no metal on my limbs now. Just ordinary skin and bones. What the heck was that? A dream? Yeah, what was that? Would daydreaming be the word for what just happened? I can't sort out my thoughts, so I think to myself, I can't let it get to me, just let it go. But some things I can't dismiss that easy. You're not human. You have an important promise which must have been your reason for living. She said, I'm forgetting something? That I need <clears throat> to remember? <clears throat> ah! My head's hurting again. The pain brings back another memory. It's just for a second and I can't quite catch it. But I saw blue skies and the ocean and someone else was there. Maybe a white dog too, I don't know. I think there was a lot more to it. But the last voice I heard stays with me. I mean, we're loved after all. Hmm. When I come to, my hands are balled into fists. That's when I make a decision. That promise, that reason for living. I have to hang on to it. I didn't hear them until now. But there are strange voices everywhere in the school building. Is this the tumult of trials that Lady in Blue mentioned? Is that really going to be a thing? I can't just leave this be. I'm the dang student council president. Yeah. As student council president, I have to find out what's going on in my school. I need to make sure that students aren't getting involved in anything dangerous. I start running towards the first floor. End. What? Wie bitte? Welcome to the Velvet Room. You can now continue this from the cliffhanger between dream and reality. In you, Yosuke, Chie, Yukiko, Kanji, and Teddy's story. Oh, why don't you introduce yourself? Oh, okay. Okay. Innerhalb von der kompletten Labyrinth Storyline gab's einen Kampf. Jetzt hatte ich vielleicht gedacht, während der Labyrinth Storyline ähm, sehen wir eventuell den, den richtigen, also den, 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 die, die True Story sozusagen, also welcher von den Charakteren, äh, die, das, das, die, die, die richtige, die wahre Geschichte hat. Diese Miss President, die geht ja mit den verschiedenen Leuten, nehme ich mal an, ein bisschen mit. Also zum Beispiel, ja, mit Yuri ist sie ein bisschen mitgegangen, mit Teddy auf jeden Fall. Mit Eiges auch ein bisschen, glaube ich. Oder irgendwie sowas, weiß gar nicht. Ah ja. Hm. Ah ja, so, eine, eine Storyline haben wir komplett fertig. Interessant. Und jetzt können wir die, die wir angefangen haben, fertig machen. Ich würde sagen, das wäre gar nicht mal so schlecht. Da machen wir das auch wieder wie bei der anderen Reihenfolge. Was jetzt, jetzt erstmal nicht, jetzt sind wir erstmal fertig mit dem Zeug. Heißt, nächste Woche machen wir dann die You oder fangen wir an, die Story von You fertig zu machen. 
Wenn wir damit fertig sind, dann machen wir die Story von Teddy erstmal fertig. Dann auch die Story von Aegis. Und dann können wir noch die restlichen Dinger spielen. Und so weiter. Gut. Interessant. Okay. Yep. Persona 4 Arena. 